Hi everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Tutorial. In this video, I will discuss what is the maximum and minimum distance between two RCC columns. So please follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter for all kinds of updates. Also hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated with all new videos. So let's get started. So here this is one RCC column and this is another RCC column and this is column to column distance means clear span or length. Here we will discuss about this length. This is the distance between two columns. Here I am not talking about high rise buildings or apartments or commercial buildings. I am talking about residential buildings. Actually there is no definite rule for determining the distance between two concrete columns of commercial buildings. In commercial buildings, as per client's requirement, architecture provides largest possible spacing for aesthetic regions. Sometimes, client has a demand for a particular measure of spacing, so architecture increases the spacing between two columns. So, increasing the spacing between two columns leads to an increase in beam depth, column dimension to support larger loads and all this leads to an increase in the cost of the building. However, here we are going to discuss about the residential buildings. Here we are not talking about commercial buildings. So column to column distance which is minimum distance should be 2 meter to 3 meter. In feet it is 7 feet to 10 feet. So, this is one column, this is another column. So, column to column distance, minimum distance would be 7 feet to 10 feet. Okay, here this is 10 feet. Minimum column to column distance would be 7 feet to 10 feet or 2 meter to 3 meter. This is the minimum distance. Here, this is we are talking about residential building and uh, minimum column to column distance. You should keep 7 feet to 10 feet or 2 meter to 3 meter. Uh, if you are constructing up to 3 story or 4 story building, you can take this. Now column to column distance, maximum distance you can take 4 meter to 5 meter that is 13 feet to 16 feet. Here column to column distance you can see 13 feet and this is 16 feet. This is the maximum distance. Means if you are constructing up to 3 storey building or 4 storey building, you can take this column size 9 inch into 9 inch or 9 inch into 12 inch and you can keep this distance. Minimum distance you can keep 7 feet to 10 feet that is 2 meter to 3 meter. Uh, this one 7 feet to 10 feet here 7 feet and this column to column 10 feet 7 feet to 10 feet. And maximum distance in residential house you can keep 13 feet to 16 feet. Here this is 9 inch into 9 inch column. You can keep 13 feet to 16 feet, feet maximum distance. This is the maximum di distance you can provide 13 feet to 16 feet or 4 meter to 5 meter and minimum 2 meter to 3 meter. Now what is the column size? So column size should be. 9 inch into 9 inch or 9 inch into 12 inch you can keep this 9 inch into 9 inch or 9 inch into 12 inch sometimes for making structure more stronger you can keep 9 inch into 12 inch also or you can keep 9 inch into 9 inch this is 1 fit or 12 inch you can keep this is the column size column size you can keep 9 inch into 9 inch and uh, uh, 9 inch to 12 inch and beam size you can keep 9 inch into 12 inch. So here you can see this is the beam. So this is 9 inch width and this is the depth. Depth you have to keep 12 inch. So width is 9 inch. This is 9 inch into 12 inch. So width is 9 inch and depth you have to give 12 inch. So this is we are if you are constructing up to 4 storied building 
then you can keep this column size 9 inch into 9 inch or 9 inch into 12 inch column size and beam size will be 9 inch into 12 inch this is the column size if you we'll take this column size because why we are taking 9 inch because wall thickness is 9 inch so if you we'll take 9 inch into 9 inch or 9 inch to 12 inch there will be no offset in your inside your house so this 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 will be the beam size 9 inch to 12 inch so column to column minimum distance we have discussed 2 meter to 3 meter or 7 feet to 10 feet that is and uh, maximum distance 4 meter to 5 meter that is 13 feet to 16 feet this, this is the minimum minimum and maximum this distance and column size you have to keep 9 inch into 9 inch this is 9 inch into 9 inch or 9 inch into 12 inch that is 9 inch into 1 feet and beam size 9 inch width this is column size you can see the column will will be inside the wall thickness so that you, there will be no offset inside the house okay there will be no offset inside the house here so 9 inch uh, width and depth will be 12 inch the beam size so, in residential house, we usually take column size 9 inch into 9 inch or 9 inch into 12 inch. Mostly we take this. So, now if you want to increase the span length more than 5 meter. So, this is the minimum and maximum distance we have discussed. Like maximum distance is 4 meter to 5 meter. That is 13 feet to 16 feet and minimum distance 6 sorry 7 feet to 10 feet. Now in case if you want to increase the span length more than 5 meter. In that case you have to increase the dimension of the column. So that the structure may not fail and withstand heavy load. So make sure you have to increase the dimension of the column. The beam uh, width you have to increase. So you have to make sure you have to do this. So hope you find this video helpful. Hope you understand what is the minimum, minimum and maximum distance between two columns in residential house. So here we are if you are constructing up to three story or four, four storied house you keep this distance. So hope you like this video and if you find this video helpful don't forget to like, share and comment. Thank you for watching.